Okay, here we go. We are going to put this in the boat. I hope. This will be the first time all the parts have sat in the boat all at the same time. Pool noodles. I know, I hate these things. They're, I just don't like to use them in gas and nitro. And this thing, pretty harmless. Plus, it's such a nice match. <laughs> oh, it's ugly. But we're going to hide some of them. This one. Up above the battery that sits over here. Because this battery lays flat. Stops the bounce around. This battery will stand up. No problem. Once the battery's in, this will hold the battery in place. Same is true on this side for this one. Don't need those right now. Let's start with something fun. Let's put the ESC in it. It's in here somewhere. It's not. Jeez, I thought I had everything. Even more stuff. Okay. You know what? I'm going to stick a water line on here first because it'll be a little bit tricky to get to. Don't know how much I need yet. These are pretty killer fittings. And I'm not going to use zip ties or nothing on there. If there's enough water pressure to rip that off. And it's going a lot faster than I expected. I want it right there. We're going to put a little insurance. I don't know if this one will reach. I think it, oh, that'd be cool if that did. Let's find out. You know, one thing I didn't do was make sure the battery fits with my insurance in here. I think I'm going to go right there. And really, this is just insurance. I got a feeling that uh, the fuzzy stuff with the little loops, Velcro, right. I got a feeling that'll hold it just fine. But, insurance. Like that. Not like that. I had the uh, black wire from the ESC in the wrong spot. I like stuff to look right. Okay. So shoot. I want it underneath the zip tie. There we go. These are those cool flush mount ones. In one of my videos I showed you these things. They don't have the normal big head of your standard zip tie. Therefore, they are cooler. Surely, as you know by now, it matters to me. Okay, do I like it? Yes, I do. Nice. Well, that was too easy. Something's going to go wrong. Stick around. Let's put the motor in. <clears throat> I've got a video about building this. If you're following along, you've seen it. Pretty sexy. If this looks a little bit smaller and shorter, it's because it is. And lighter. Okay, I may have to uh, change the angle of the fan dangle here. Let me, I'm going to stand you up and you're going to lose me for a minute, but then you'll be able to watch what happens. Maybe. Go in there. Let's watch out. The motor wants to fall out. Let's hang on to it here. 
Can you guys see that? You can't see that. Hang on. I don't know if that camera's gonna stay there. See if I can do this under pressure, left-handed, and in the frame. Sure is pretty under here, isn't it? Gosh. My wife's walking in. Come here, you can get in the video. <laughs> Your hair looks great. <laughs> wow, both dogs. Careful, don't bump that. That's just barely standing there. Lean in over here. I don't know if they can see you or not. <laughs> I got this. Jeez. There you go. All right. It's <laughs> uh, much better than looking at me. Super shiny. So what's going on? What's that? Oh, supper's ready. Tacos. Tacos. Yeah, I'll better. Okay. Me and a few thousand other people are going to work for just a few more minutes and then I'll come in. All right. Okay. Down we go. Remove the camera. Okay, cool. Hey, let's check something. If we did this right, this shaft should slide right into that motor. All that time we spent trying to line it up. Should go in. Oh, so smooth. Oh. Can you say perfection? I knew you could. We'll grease that later. Yes, I grease it. I know some of you guys put on an oil reservoir, but that's adding stuff. Don't add stuff. Okay, connections here. I'm hoping that these will work just like Che. If I can get it to connect. These are very slimy right now because I slathered them with dielectric grease. It promotes connection, prohibits corrosion, and helps them slide together nicer. Also gets fingers real easy. But if the motor spins backwards, I'll disconnect two of these and just swap them over, and then it'll spin the right way. Magic. All right, I want to get this tubing out of the way, so we're going to take a look at that right now, kind of figure out where, how much we're going to need. Look at that, no pipe, no nothing to worry about burning that on. Isn't that, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Okay, somewhere's around there. I just don't have to worry about that. Servo. Oh, hey. Don't need that one. Throttle servo. Cute little linkage, huh? Little flex. Line it right up. Bam, away you go. Can even use a smaller servo. I use the little minis now on my nitros and, and my gasser. Don't let me forget what that is. I don't know if you can see this now. I have an extension that I routed. It's glued up to the top here. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen that. It shows up right here. Packed full of dielectric grease. And we're set. 
mounting screw. Yes, they are aluminum. And I can't get them out of the bag. And they're black. Cool, huh? After I drilled the holes in the wood, I filled them again with epoxy. I ran the screws in a couple times to cut threads and filled them with epoxy. Bored them back out, ran the screws through them again. Just got that whole area sealed really well, so any water that might seep around these screws isn't going to attack the wood and soak into the wood make these guys stick real bad later. If you got to change a servo in a hurry at a pond within the three minute countdown, you want the screws to come out. Don't got to get crazy with them. I just barely snug them down. I see a lot of guys don't use the little rubbers. Eh, I like the little rubbers. I like a little give in some things, and so this gives, this gives it give. You ever done that? You fire up, you're ready to go out for your heat, and you, you got nothing. <laughs> Mad thrash! Okay, there's our sexy new little shaft. Really don't know if it's quite the right length yet or not. Oh, you know what? We need to power up and make sure that uh, this guy centers. Hang on, be right back. Good old M11X. I dig it, man. Saber. this baby up. I didn't hear nothing happen. I do now. Servo complaining when I'm trying to put this on. Pretty sure that's my spot. That was dumb. I can't angle it enough to get on the pin back here now. I use it just to, you can see it's a little tiny guy. I don't know what that is, a number two, I think. Use a little tiny steel screw. It's about the only place I use steel parts on the boat. It's a lock nut, it wouldn't go anywhere, but it definitely ain't got it now. Great. Where were we? Receiver. I might to leave that hooked up. What we're going to do here is we're just going to Velcro this guy straight down. I'm going to take this tag off. So I can slap Velcro right on here. A little bit greasy, right? No good. A bit of alcohol. <laughs> chug a look, chug a look. I'm 
do that on the floor here as well. I already pulled the tag off of the battery. I'm not 100% sure where it's going to sit just yet, but I do know it's going to Velcro in, so we'll clean it up and we'll clean this area up here. This is all new, newly sealed up here, so it would be fine probably, but verify. Velcro. Stop looking, I found it. I think I want the loopy stuff in the boat and the fuzzy stuff on the part. I do not know why. I think I put the fuzzy stuff on the boat over here. Can you think of any reason why it should go the other way around? I can't. That guy's fuzzy. It's not cut real square. Doesn't look cool. See right where we're gonna want it. Think, think, right there. Yeah? Dig it. I dig it. Let's see, it's gonna sit this way, so that's probably Here's a way to do it. Guess this be one way to find out if the stick'em really works, right? <laughs> oh, I think I got it on there crooked. That's going to kill me. Oh, look at that. It's crooked, man. Oh, oh, that's so painful. Quick, quick. Put it on. There. Antenna. You didn't get glue in the end of that hole, did you? No. Yeah, the tube's glued in there. Huh. Got a little more than I expected. That's all right. Better than having that wire drawn up tight. I just fold it over a little bit at the top and just stick a little rubber vacuum cap on there. I know a lot of you guys have a lot more courage than me and you leave the antenna under the hole, under the deck, but I, I cannot do that, my man. All right, let's see where we're gonna wanna be. Well, it's just going to sit right over here, just pretty as can be. Towards the front. How about that? Here's how you're going to make your battery connection. Just pow. Super simple. I really like it. We're going to power it up here in a minute, so don't go away. I know it's pretty boring watching me put a boat together. Yeah? Dig it. Okay, battery's in, servo's in, water line, water line is in. Oh, so I got, got to go over or under, I think we'll go under, right? Let me think, bottom one goes to the close spot. Water for the motor. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to shove the water in this fitting here instead of going in here. Reason being, I want, as water pushes in, I want the air to get pushed out. So I want this one up at the high point. Okay. 
So if you're slowing down or making some maneuver where you're not getting water pressure at the time, I don't want this area here to wind up being air. I want water to be pressurized up into the jacket all the time. That, does that make any sense? No? Get over it. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, some of the transmitter. All right. Should we run it through here first and then pull it all the way? Let's see if we can. That's a lousy idea. Why would you do that? Which one of you guys thought of that? So let's see, how are we gonna... Well, I guess we just push it on there and find out. Now see, that can come off with some ease. So, we're gonna cut about that much of it. Double it up on the outside. Let that behave as my clamp. I know some of you don't like that. But I don't think it's going anywhere. So, leave it like that. Or make a big loop up front. I don't want a big loop up front. I don't want it hitting those wires. So we're going to go right there like that. Slim. It's a little tricky getting this thing past this rudder mount. I, I used every inch of real, real estate that I could here to get my rudder over as far as possible without standing it all the way on the back here. I just thought that looked ridiculous. This is too important to let things look ridiculous. I think that's fine. You know, what I'll probably do is put a zip tie or two on here. This one's just a tiny bit longer than it needs to be to have a super cool look to it. So let's tug it a little bit. Look at that. You think a couple of zip ties on that would look good? I don't know. I'm not a big zip tie fan. I think before all is said and done, I'm going to uh, double up on these two. We'll do that later. Okay, so that's the way that's going to look. ESC outlet. Water goes in the bottom. Same reasons. I want the water pushing up. Driving any air out. Oh, I really like those fittings. Those are awesome. Let's see, this one we'll do on this side, right here. And we are certainly going to double this up. I did not put barbs on these. So we're making a pretty long doubler. You can even use a smaller size tubing if you really want it clamping on there tight. But I'll tell you right now, I've built some pretty quick boats and I've never had a water line come off. Under? All right. You're the boss. Yeah. In fact, this side. Thanks for noticing that. I'm going to say I have it about a quarter inch too long. Be cool way right there. No, it's actually a better, better loop going that route. Oh, we're gonna double that. Remember? Come on, man. All right. It's a lot going on in here, huh? Okay, something like that. Okay, 
here. What do you guys say? Water in, water out. Water in, water out. I dig it. Now, can I get the batteries in and out? Oh, hey, let's connect this guy. Where do we want this router? Somewhere that it's not going to ever decide to get into the drive. You know, even if it just kind of laid around the back, I think it'd be all right. Not really my style, but we'll see how it looks. Hmm. Okay. This is going to be slightly tricky. Ooh, I felt it seat. Oh, we're close. Do not go anywhere. Batteries. Let's see, I already put the foam in up above that one. These are not fully charged, but they should make it go vroom if everything works. Okay, that's how that's supposed to work. Yeah, perfectly color matched piece sits under there like that. I'm going to lose track of what's what here in a minute. How do you guys keep this in line? Okay, this one goes there. Couldn't use the full round because it's so narrow over here. Little wiggle. Might need a little bit bigger piece there. I'm excited. Okay. Which one do I want? I want the red. You know, people always like uh, connecting a red thing last. You really should. I mean, it's a good habit to get into on cars and stuff, right? So my red's going to go here. I am looking for the red lead from the battery. This one. Red lead from the right side battery connecting to the black lead on the left side battery. I'm going to need that guy again. Black lead from the right side battery connecting to the ESC. This boat, I don't like that. That's just not sexy. This boat's ready to run. I do mean red. Those were connected right now. Should run. You want to run it? You get the transmitter again. Turn her on. Get the right model. Eliminator. Oh, I need to change that to electro eliminator. We're going to power up our receiver. Theoretically, I should have steering. Those lips are too big, huh? I know, I digress. All right, let's run it. This uh, receiver has already been programmed to the um, ESC. Read the uh, manual that comes with yours. There's, a, there's different processes for, for basically binding these together. This one has already been done, according to theory. Here we go. It's going to go pow, all right? Don't panic. Most important thing, don't panic. It's a good sign. What do you think? <laughs> the Eliminator has gone electric. Let's test. Quieter than what I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole lot quieter than what I'm used to.
I hear a lot of chatter off the shaft. Sorry, that didn't work. I'll zoom back out. Okay, he's gonna bring her up. First time out for the Electro Eliminator. Electro Eliminator run number two. No changes. We just got a real safe prop on it and farting around. Just to make sure it works. You want to know why I'm filming it? It's because the owner of the boat is standing right there. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did you? Oh yeah, these are better batteries. She is moving. Time to get out the big prop. Okay, well it's motating now. It's motating now. Batteries do make a difference, don't they? Yeah. When we adjusted the throttle end point. Oh, well that'll help too. I don't know if you heard that, he adjusted the throttle end point. We're still not full tilt on this thing. Let's see if it wheelies. Pretty much. Whoop. stay with here we go here we go here we go yeah baby and you know what the beauty for this boat is it's not getting lighter as it goes because it gets light and flighty when it burns out its fuel not a problem anymore holy cow how do you compete with that Oh, that's completely unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch can't do that in nitro. <laughs> 